Hey, it's Chelsea and welcome back to the Mad Cat Makings YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some things that I have crocheted lately using some free patterns that I found online. A lot of the times when I'm crocheting, I'm just making things to sell at markets or on Etsy. So I don't really have a lot of time to crochet things for me or just because I like the pattern. And sometimes that makes me a little bit sad. So I decided I just wanted to make some things just because I like them and not have to figure in if it's worth my time or if people will buy it. So I'm gonna be starting with this flower pillow. This pattern is by Yarnspirations. It took me about two hours to make and you just crochet two flowers and then you crochet them together. So it's really easy. The pattern has you using an eight millimeter crochet hook, but I decided to use the seven millimeter just because it is worked in double crochets and I didn't want the stuffing to come out. Also, I decided to make it using the blanket yarn and I think the pattern just has you using like a chunky yarn. But overall, I would definitely recommend this pattern. I would be interested to see if it would sell at markets. I'm not sure because I think I would probably charge around $40 for it and I don't know if people would pay that much but I might try to put it on Etsy and see if it would sell. The next pattern I made was this plant hanger. It is by Heart Hook Home and this one also took me about two hours to make and I used a cotton yarn for it. It was a little tricky for me because it's kind of like a netted pattern and so I had a little trouble finding the right stitches to use but it repeats itself, so like once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy and works up quickly. If you don't like real plants or aren't good at keeping them alive, I also made this crochet barrel cactus. This was a free pattern off of Ravelry by Naria Alvarez. And this pattern was super easy to make and it was really quick. It was also about two hours. And the only part you have to sew on are the flowers. And those were a little tricky for me, but I think I might have just been tired. I do think this one would probably sell well at markets because it was so quick to make and it is a good size. The pattern was for um, worsted weight yarn, but I used the blanket yarn, so it's a lot bigger than what it was supposed to be. And I really like it. I think it looks really good with the flowers. They really pop off the green. And I would also recommend this pattern. The next thing I made was the sea turtle. It is by Loops and Love Crochet. I've made turtles in the past and sold them at markets and they do sell really well. Um, but there is a lot of sewing involved with the turtles. Also, I didn't like how the head kind of flops down with this pattern. Um, I don't know if it would be possible to sew the head higher up because you have to sew around the edges like this. I think it's supposed to be below where the you sew the shell on. But I'm sure there is some way to fix it, but that was something I didn't like about it. This one is pretty big too because the pattern was also made using the worsted weight yarn. But I like how it has this, that African flower hexagon. And I think there's a lot of different color combinations that you could do with this. That would be really cute. This pattern ended up taking me about three hours to make. And I think it's partly because you have to do two of the top shells because it has the holes in it. And so also it's pretty big, but it is very cute. The last pattern I made was this mushroom basket. It's another pattern by Yarnspirations and it was made using the Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn. And if you've ever used that yarn before, you know how it is kind of stiff. And this was made using three strands held together. So it is very stiff, which is really good for a basket. But when you're making it, you kind of have to make sure your tension is loose enough otherwise it will really hurt your hands to like pull the yarn through and that's what I did at first and don't do that if you decide to make this pattern but I really like the way it looks. This pattern took me about three hours to make and I do like the way it looks but I don't know if I would make it again just because of how hard it is to work with this yarn um, but I do think it would sell good at markets but I don't know if it would be worth it to me because it was so painful. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.